Man, that's a big whirlpool. Is that a kraken below us? Oh my, okay, I did not spawn that in. Uh, it never gets old seeing that big of a wave approach a ship like this, like when we do it with the Titanic or the other ones. Uh, uh-oh. So folks, this is probably one of the most beautiful ships I've ever seen here in Stormworks. This is the Queen Mary by Ice Monster 360, and you guys have to check out the interior of this ship. So let's go ahead and open it up here, try not to fall into the water. And uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna go on a little bit of a tour. Uh, she's not all lit up right now. I need to make my way up to the bridge. But the inside of this thing is absolutely stunning. So by the way, this thing will be linked down in the description if you guys want to uh, download it yourself. Uh, you do start it up here in the bridge and you'll pump up all the throttles here. I'm gonna go ahead and have those going. That way when we start it up, uh, she starts to move away from the uh, the oil platform here. So let's go ahead and go all forward. By the way, if you guys are enjoying Stormworks on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. All right, here comes the engine starter unlock. So let's go ahead and fire them up. Boom, boom, and boom. All right, all engines are fired. Okay, going to turn on some lights here. I got a ton of lights on this thing. It might cause a little bit of lag. I don't know. I think it'll be actually uh, pretty good once we uh, get a little bit away from the, the dock here. Oh, yeah, she's moving. She moves pretty fast, actually. But yeah, uh, the ship detail is awesome. I, I really do like uh, this ship. I like the way the front looks, uh, how it goes up in levels, but it's all kind of curved. Uh, it's not like really squared off like a lot of ships. And uh, yeah, she's got a really good inside. So I've got all the lights on. Uh, like I said, you might see a little bit of lag, but I think for the most part, we're going to be good. So we're going to go on a tour. And then, of course, in Komodo fashion, we're going to test this ship out. Uh, against maybe a couple disasters. Man, where do we even start with this? Uh, I do see lifeboats. They appear to be functional, so we do have a uh, means of escape here. It looks like this is like a cruise section, so you got like a little gate here. We're gonna open this up. Looks like we have a couple uh, little courts here for the uh, for the guests to play on. All right, so that takes you out to the, uh, the lifeboats. Uh, there might be two rows of them. Uh, all right, let's open this up. I wanna get down into the main part of the ship here. Uh, I'm experiencing a little bit of lag. It is a beefy ship. This might be like one of the most detailed ones uh, I've ever seen. So I've made my way down on one of the side uh, decks here. Uh, I would assume that maybe there would be a little bit of furniture out here. Maybe it was completely open, but we're back towards the front of the ship. So uh, we're below the bridge. If we open this up here, we're actually in, oh my goodness. Look at this thing. This is incredible. So. You've got actually it looks like two layers, like an outside uh, layer, and then you have like what appears to be like a bar slash restaurant in here. That is gorgeous. All right, so we can uh, kind of work our way back from here. Uh, there are some elevators. I'm not sure if they're functional. There is some dummy doors, it appears, uh, because I'm sure like if you were to fill this interior up completely, uh, it would probably be a bit of an issue. But yeah, you've got several of the rooms over here to the side. Uh, looks like little display cases. This looks to be like a, a main, almost like common area. Uh, we can walk around. Looks like there would be like shops in here, uh, different like amenities for the guest. And this is luxurious. There's a uh, staircase there. We'll continue on this deck. Uh, let's kind of make our way to the back. But yeah, tons of seating areas. It uh, looks like you have different like shifts to maybe different dining areas. And oh my, that is cool looking. I, I really do like the design of the interior. Like it's just got that classic, uh, classy feel to it that I feel like it's kind of lost in a lot of ships now, a lot of the modern ones. Uh, it's all about like fun amenities, but man, this thing's got class here. I, I like this a whole lot. So yeah, we can keep walking through the back. Different styles of like dining halls. Uh, there's like a piano there. Uh, there's even stuff on this side too. My goodness. There's like a bunch of different themes as you walk through this ship. Uh, very, very cool. So we go to the back, we got another like big dining hall. Man, this is gorgeous. All right, so if we go up through here, probably guest cabins, maybe... Well, actually, maybe they're not sprinkled in here. Oh, there's another staircase. You know, let's go back up to the main staircase. Uh, that one looks like just the, the rear staircase. It looks gorgeous, but I feel like if we want to go up and down, we probably need to use this over here. Okay, here we go, main staircase. So we can go up. Uh, this will lead you up to the deck uh, where the lifeboats were and uh, where you can get up to the bridge. But we can go down here, very nice staircase. You got more uh, common areas, elevators. All right, so this is definitely gonna be where your guest cabins are. Uh, I'm not sure any of these are actually open. Maybe they did model like one or two in. 
Uh, let's head back this way. This might be leading out to the front of the ship. Oh, look, uh, another small dining hall. So, yeah, this is the front of the ship still. You can still see how it's uh, almost kind of domed. And then this leads out to the front deck, I would suppose. Or is this the side? No, this is the front deck. So, yeah, you can walk up here to the front. Uh, you can see all the detail, probably, like, crew areas there. Uh, they have the flags hung up. Uh, I don't see, like, a rope or anything. I don't know if that's a glitch on my end or if that's the way it's supposed to be. But, yeah, it had a bunch of flags and stuff uh, strung up to uh, uh, the poles there. So, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and close this door here. And we're going to head further back into the ship. There's another staircase, by the way. Probably, I would guess, more guest cabins uh, down below us. All right, so we're going to go down here. All right, so what are we going to run into now? I mean, even more, like, common areas. Uh, looks like we can go up and down. Looks like big hallways. Uh, tons of guest cabins. This is where you would enter the ship. Uh, so we were here earlier. Would this be, like, a ticket office or maybe, like, a mail uh, center? Or maybe even, like, an information kiosk or something. Could you imagine boarding this? Actually, you might would get your uh, keys here. This looks like a front desk to, like, a hotel. So, like, you would collect your key and then maybe go to one of the guest cabins. Is this a guest cabin? No, this is the back area uh, where the workers would be. Uh, I am kind of curious if there's any model cabins in here. So, real quick, while we're at the staircase, let's go down another level here. Uh, I'm assuming even more cabins? Uh, yes. <laughs> I assumed right. Does it go even further down? My goodness. How many decks are on this ship? Like, the interior. This is impressive. Like, I would say most of the main areas are here. Maybe... Yeah, all the cabins aren't actually to where you can go into them. But as far as the major areas of the ship, it looks like it would be fairly complete in here. Uh, looks like we have a... Oh, there's a pool in the front. Dude, that's cool. You can go down there. Uh, enjoy that. It does have water in it. Uh, man, could you imagine if something like this would run like really well in multiplayer? You can get you know several people aboard. I feel like this would be awesome. This is another big dining area through here. Uh, yeah, it, absolutely incredible detail in this ship. Like, I can only imagine how long this took. I actually need to go back and read the workshop to see if uh, maybe they gave a, a date and, you know, like, how long this thing took because uh, this is ridiculous. So we went down to check out the, the pool area here. Uh, very detailed. Looks like maybe it would go back to showers and locker rooms, uh, potentially. But yeah, how cool is it that this thing has a nice built-in indoor pool in the front? And yeah, you can exit that, and it looks like there's a staircase. I believe we're right at the front of the ship. Uh, possibly more cabins down here. Uh, another staircase up here in the front. So if we take this one up, where does this one take us? I would assume even more guest cabins. Uh, yeah, that, that looks to be a thing. We got another staircase here. Looks like another dining hall. I don't know if I've actually been through these. And then, yeah, we'd go up another set of stairs to get up towards the front. Yeah, overall, just super impressive interior. Like, I had to go through this thing and highlight it because uh, truly, probably, maybe, I would argue, maybe one of the best ones I've seen. Uh, if not the best, just kind of give you guys a little overview uh, of the ship. Might have missed a couple things here. Uh, I love the, uh, oh, this is a cool section. Yeah, I, I like the back and the front probably the best. Like, uh, maybe being in here and dining. Man, that would have been an experience on this ship. So, uh, let's head back to uh, the bridge here. And you know what? Let's uh, let's maybe hit it with some waves. Just kind of see how this thing handles it. Hey, here we go. Uh, they're going to be hitting us from the side. I don't think this thing's going to budge. Like, it feels so, like, sturdy and just... It feels really, really... I guess you could say, like, it's a thick ship. Like, it's big. Uh, I don't think it's going to have issues with these high waves. Like, I think a tsunami could come hit it, maybe slightly tip it over. It isn't going to do anything. Hold on, let's hit the horn. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, there is a scuttle button on it. Um, as far as the method of sink, I don't see doors. So maybe it's going to pump in water. Uh, not 100% sure. But yeah, as far as the waves, I mean, it's listing slightly. Uh, nothing too big. So the more I look at the ship, uh, just to give you guys like the scaling okay so we are here in this small little bridge and if you zoom out it is a mighty ship like it's ridiculous in size this reminds me of sometimes when we uh check out like the titanic or the britannic uh we had some really good uh full-size versions of it, that and i would sit there i would rank this up there uh let me know what you guys think about this thing it's incredible so yeah uh there is the scuttle button it's right back there i could hit it but i feel like maybe uh i got a test for this 
do we think this thing would do well against a whirlpool like i want to change it up like uh there are several videos uh, already made by us uh, even some youtubers i follow that have checked out the ship that have done the scuttle button uh, i want to maybe try a whirlpool here I, I don't even know if it would drag it under it's a hard ship so let's try it okay whirlpool is active um not really sure where it's forming uh well i feel like we're already starting to turn oh is it right beside us the waves have shifted is it oh there it is okay uh on right. let's let's go down on the engines uh i think this thing would actually probably push right out of these uh, oh my goodness i can feel the ship listing all right let's back it up we're gonna let it take the ship and just see what happens uh i don't know if it would actually take it down uh if, if we're being honest here all right down on all those i don't know if there's like a an all button for that uh oh oh my goodness uh okay it's dragging it back man that's a big whirlpool is that a kraken below us oh my okay i did not spawn that in hold on uh I, I guess we're going back. I didn't want to do anything with the Kraken. I think the Kraken's having issues, too. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I think the Kraken's going to be the least of our concern. Oh, have you ever seen a big ship like this uh, get <laughs> drunk down by a uh, by a freaking whirlpool? I think we're so deep. I used the seed uh, that was on the workshop they uh, suggested. So I don't think we're going to drag the bottom. I, we're probably taking on water back there, but I would say, considering the circumstance, this is actually doing kind of good. Like, I feel like it's wedged itself. Like, the back end of the ship is in the water. The front end's in the water. But if you look, hold on, let's go into photo mode here. Uh, this is something just to show you how big the ship is. The middle of the ship's not even touching the water. Like, it's swirling it around, but I don't think it's actually going to take it down. That is, once you think about the scaling, uh, that is pretty incredible looking. It is just spinning the, uh-oh. Okay, it's definitely spinning the ship, but is there water? Like, I wonder, is everything sealed in here? Um, yeah, uh-oh. Okay, no, this is bad for us. Okay, swim up, please. Holy man, uh, I'm dying. Uh-oh, okay, I'm gonna have to turn on, uh, no player damage for some reason. Wait, actually, I'm gonna have to let myself die here. Uh, okay. We're gonna have to go back to the ship. Uh, there's a good chance. This thing takes a little bit to spawn up. Uh, what killed us? Was it just the force of the whirlpool spinning us around that was killing my character? Uh, I didn't think we'd have to turn on god mode, but we might have to. Also, you can see it's frozen at the moment. Okay, we've spawned in. There should be, if it's still here in the map, there should be a big ship not too far from here that's in a whirlpool. Uh-oh. I don't see it. That's not a good sign. Um, I wonder if I could see it. You know, I spawned it in via mission. Was there a marker on it? Uh, maybe? Um, okay, so the ship went this way. Did it? Did it disappear? It is not loaded in. Did it? Uh-oh. Well, there's a chance that thing just got swallowed by... Alright, let's go to the... This is, would be where we were. Like, this is as far as I've uncovered in the map. Okay, spawning's taking a little bit here. Does the ship still even exist? Oh, there's the whirlpool. Okay, so we've located the whirlpool. Where's the ship? Uh, okay, we're gonna set here with it. it it's gonna pop back in, right? Uh, we'll give it just a moment. Oh my goodness. Okay, turning on God mode. Uh, folks, I just spawned in. It ripped the ship apart. So I think what just happened, oh my goodness. There's only a couple pieces of the ship down here. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, it's also now banging against the, the ocean floor. Where did the Kraken go? You know, I think the Kraken noped out of here. Look at that! So yeah, it's not supposed to spawn back in like this. We have officially destroyed it with the Whirlpool. Maybe that was not a good idea. You know, maybe we do the traditional sink. I mean, we saw it actually handled it well. The character died. I think once the Whirlpool would, like, uh, dissipate, I think it would just come right back up. But that was a pretty cool experiment, and we have a really, really, like, unexpected result. You can see how the ship was built, though. That is insane. Okay, so we fought our whirlpool here. Did a pretty good job. I just think it's really massive, and it, I don't think... Even, like, a Kraken would attach to the side of this. I would not be able to take it down. You could probably spawn in several Megalodons. Probably wouldn't get the job done. So, you know what? We're going to use it as the author intended, and we're going to hit the scuttle button. So, not sure how this sink's gonna go about. 
Uh, I don't know if there's... I don't see doors. So I'm assuming water is slowly getting pumped into the ship. Uh, but we'll have to see. We'll keep the waves up uh, where they are now. Uh, but yeah, this is cool. Uh, this is really cool. You know, I am almost curious, like, if we did hit this with a tsunami, would it go through it or would it travel over it? I think there's only one way to figure out. All right, folks, there it is, the mighty tsunami, and uh, she's a tall one. All right, so we're going to turn the ship. I, I do want to hit it directly with it. Like, I want to hit the front. If we hit it on the side, it might tip a little bit. I still think it would come back up. Uh-oh. Uh, I think it's going to clip us a little bit. Oh, that would be really, really scary seeing that out the front. All right, we've got this. Uh, also, the ship is slowly sinking. I really don't know like where the water's coming from. I don't know if it's going to come down in the front. Uh, but, yeah, we've got, uh, I would say, bigger things to contend with here. Uh, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it never gets old seeing that big of a wave approach a ship like this, like when we do it with the Titanic or the other ones. Uh-oh. Uh Wait. Is she so heavy she's going to go right down through it? Uh, there's definitely going to be water going over the front. Is it going to make it to the bridge? Holy man, that is scary, but I think we're clear of it. What's it going to do out the other side, though? Oh, my goodness. Look at it launch out. That is insane. Is it going to hold together? Oh, there's the lifeboat. Oh, it's going to fling itself up on deck. All right, so that looks like the functional lifeboats are the ones near the bridge. Uh, a lot of water just splashed over there, probably uh, seeped in a little bit. But what was I telling you guys? Not even a tsunami can stop this ship. It is officially tsunami proof. I think the only thing that can take down this ship is literally the scuttle button. Or an asteroid. An asteroid does weird things to creations. I would probably say uh, that would get it done too, but... Oh, that was cool. It handled it like a champ. Uh, no problem whatsoever. Okay, so if we look really close, definitely we're losing a bit of the white line there. And it's slowly listing over to the side. Uh, so we're taking on water. I think I saw below here. I think I saw a slit. Okay. Oh, that's why it's listing. That's an opening there. It's almost like a gash at the bottom of the ship now. But man, it's going to take a whole lot to take this thing down. Folks, uh, it's doing a pretty heavy list. Shall we go down and check maybe below deck to see what we uh, have going on here? Oh my goodness, we're walking sideways. Uh, you can see all the lifeboats are like pinned up on the side. Of course, we would probably in a normal situation be deploying these. Uh, we could deploy the other side. The ship's still moving though, that's the problem. Like if I deploy the lifeboat and get on it, it's not gonna matter. I'm gonna be gone. Like <laughs> I'm gonna go that way, the ship's gonna go this way and eventually sink. So I think definitely we want to still be aboard this, but my goodness, look how close the water line is up to the deck here. Uh, that is a lot of water coming in, Han. Let's see if we can get it inside. Are we leaking on the interior is the question. Oh, I definitely feel like the nose is starting to go down. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be one of those things where it, when it finally decides that it's really done, it's going to go down quick or what's going to happen here. Uh, some ships are really deceiving. Uh, you'll be in one, you think everything's fine, and then 30 seconds later, you're pretty much dead. All right, look down here. Any water? I don't see anything at the bottom of the staircase. So it must be filling up the hole right now. I don't know if it's going to... I mean, eventually it's going to leak inside. Okay, almost to the bottom, I think. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yep, okay, this is the bottom. No, I don't see any water in here, so I think we're good at the moment. Oh, look up. No, there's none at all in here. All right. Uh, my goodness, let's go look at the front, though. Yeah, that's... This is definitely not good. Um, yeah, if it starts to get over this, like, deck here, I don't know if it'll start leaking through. Are those actual... I don't think those are windows. I feel like water would get into those, and then... But, actually, is that an outside deck? I don't know. It, it probably isn't going to help, regardless. All right, so we have the front sealed up here, so we're good. Let's go back up into the bridge. I'm going to have to just fly up there. It's really hard to walk on the ship at the moment. Okay, folks, you can see a, a little bit of an update here, how far it's gone down. Uh, water is starting to splash through those holes. Uh, I don't know if that's... Is that going to affect it? No, that does go to the inside. That's how this thing gets water in it. Uh, at least I'm assuming. Uh, oh, man, that starts getting in there. It is going to be probably a rapid acceleration of the sink uh also possibly the stacks up to, i mean by the time it gets up to those i don't think it's gonna really matter yeah should we slow it down you know we could i know a lot of people are like komodo you need to deploy lifeboats all right we're gonna throttle down that way we don't lose the lifeboat i'm gonna try to deploy the one on the side i feel like that might be a good thing all right throttle down my goodness we are standing like this is sideways almost 
Uh, this is aggressive. All right, come on. Come on, throttle all the way down. All right. Uh, probably would have been throttled down when they knew it was uh, going down. Uh, all right, so let's get to the lifeboat. Oh, my goodness. We are sideways. Um, how do we deploy it? Is it the top here, or is there a is there a bottom section? Hold on. Look at this. Throttle lever winch down. Is it this one? All right, it is this one. Um, are we far enough out? Is that Will that go out further? Uh, I'm not sure if it will or won't. What, what's happening? Oh, the rail. It's stuck on the railing right now. On. That all the way. Okay, so the railing, it's off. Um, it is almost in the water. Uh-oh. I mean, it's still pretty choppy out here right now. Okay, we're bouncing around on this thing. Oh, my goodness. Come on. No, 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 stay up. Stay up. Yeah, there's water now washing over the decks. I don't have survival on at the moment because uh, I'm dying really weird earlier. That was, uh, I don't know if that was just the whirlpool that did it. I don't know, the way the ship moves sometimes, there's a little bit of lag, and I feel like maybe it's, uh, occasionally just bonks off you, and it, it hurts. <laughs> so, maybe we shouldn't do that. Alright, so get that one off. Alright, hopefully this will go away from the ship a little bit. Wait, does this have... Hold on, do this one. What are the buttons that are on here? Oh my goodness. Can I accelerate away? Uh, rudder and throttle. Alright, throttle up. Is that... I don't know if that's work. Oh, it is working. Alright, so we're pulling away from the ship. Alright, so we're gonna least get the lifeboat clear of it that way it doesn't go down too that way we have a way to get out of here all right look at that that is a mighty sight right there that is uh pretty crazy oh geez okay uh probably safe actually we want to clear that that would probably if it tips over to the side it would take it down all right let's clear that i mean this is probably what it would normally look like you know we're getting away from the ship we're good we know it's going down there's nothing we can do about it and we have cleared uh, with the lifeboat itself. All right, so let's set that down to zero. There we go. All right, we got that clear. Uh, I guess the only thing left to do, you know, we could go look inside real quick. Okay, can't confirm. This is what the view of the inside looks like. There is water getting in on the inside. Like, it is, it's filling fast. That is going right up. That is frightening looking. So our lifeboat may or may not have actually uh, gone to the front of the ship. That potentially might be an issue. Uh, maybe we want to accelerate it back out. You know what? We're, we're going to do it. I mean, I could go on the inside and panic at the water coming up, but I feel like the whole fact that we've already deployed this, uh, we just need to pull away from the ship, and let's watch it. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? Am I stuck? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, so the ship is still slightly moving, and that... Well. All right. Uh, I think it just it just made the decision for me. It's like the curse of the Queen Mary. It was like, nope, get back on the ship. All right, let's go. Oh, this is just ridiculous. All right, very, very, very hard to walk on. I imagine when this thing hits the bottom of the ocean, that's where the lag might really kick in. All right, well, we're going to go on the inside. Let's get a status check of what this looks like. So, folks, remember that really nice dining room we looked at earlier? The high ceiling? Um... That's what this looks like right now. Look at how fast that's going up. The ship is almost... I, I don't think it's going to go completely on its side. I think it's taking on enough water that it's going to eventually just start dipping really hard. But, I mean, you better hope all the furniture's nailed down because, yeah, this... This isn't pleasant. Whoa, wait, what the heck? Why is that water flowing down? Wait, what? What's happening right now? Wait a minute. What is... What is going on? We're not in a... Wait, what? Why is that going so fast? Oh, there's a... That's a small little rogue wave. My goodness, it, it didn't even look that bad, but it sure did push it, didn't it? Uh, so what is... What is that? That isn't our... Wait, what? <laughs> there's a fishing vessel that's upside down. All right, so that rogue wave that came through hit it, too. Uh, here's a look at the back. Yeah, that really just accelerated the uh, the going down, I think. Look at this. Look at the water pouring in. Uh, the inside is filling up. This is where we currently are. Um, now might be a good time to run to the back. Okay, you know what? Let's go. Uh, let's take off running. Oh, I don't have a, a flashlight. Oh, yeah, I died earlier. Oh, this is this is laggy, but that water is it's just chasing you up through this. Yeah, it, it's game over. It, it's time to get... Maybe we stand on top of it. <laughs> okay, so that's how much of the ship has gone under. It's, it's rapid now. You could just visibly see it. Like, it is cruising. 
All right, the second stack is going under now. Third stack's got water touching it. Yeah, it, it definitely goes fast. Not as aggressive as some ships where when it hits that point where it really starts to speed up, where it's just instant. Uh, but for as big as it is, watching it go down like that, that is rather impressive. And this is a... Man, it's just an impressive uh, creation here. Definitely, you guys need to go check it out if you can run it. If not, hopefully you enjoyed the video. At least get a taste of what it would be like uh, being on this ship. On, let's swim towards it. There it goes. Last lifeboats are going underwater right now. Uh, ours sank. I mean, I guess we could go get a ride with that fishing vessel that was upside down. Uh, yeah, definitely a rogue wave came there. It wasn't a tsunami. Uh, it was not near big enough. But, man, it really did shift that uh, ship when it was sinking. And, oh, there's the top is the bottom. Man, it is deep out here. Uh, it is going down. All right, wait for the last bit. All right, there she goes. The final bit is stood up. Wait, is it touching the seafloor? Oh, my goodness, it's touching. The, it stopped. It's touching the seafloor. It's done a handstand. The ship is so big that this is going to be like a permanent like monument of it being out of the water. That's insane looking. Well... That's as far as she's going down, folks. Uh, she did a handstand. Very impressive, though.